Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer courtesy of Jeff, thank you so much. This is a fun one that I'm excited to review. Um, this is Double Rowaka, so this is a double IPA. Hell, he doesn't print ABV on this one. I believe it's 8%, yeah, Abner's 8%, so I'm gonna guess it's right around there. Uh, this was canned about two weeks ago and is a six week best buy, so the right way to, you know, advertise the freshness of these beers. Uh, Rowaka is a, I guess one of the hops that Sean really liked from New Zealand. So I'm really excited to dig into this one. It's been a while since I've had a, a double IPA from uh, Hill Farmstead. So uh, the beer comes in a light gold color, medium plus haze on that, right? Pretty opaque actually, pretty hazy. I feel like some of the beers early on were not as hazy, but this is pretty much like what new haze sort of generally looks like. Not completely completely milky looking, but um, or juice looking, but medium plus to almost full on haze. Fluffy, tiny bubble head. I get a little bit of ripeness. I get um, a sweet melon. So it's almost like cantaloupe, but almost like a tropical vibe to it too. So there's like that kind of hints of pineapple. Sweet citrus. So it's um, a tropical kind of citrus note. So it's like, um, not tropical citrus, but like sweeter, kind of like navel orange notes to it. Maybe in touch of like white grapefruit. Quite nice. Almost like a little bit of like light watermelon though too. A little bit of doughy malt in there. Cheers, it smells fantastic. Soft, creamy. A little bit of that kind of like, like chalky thing. Is it chalky? Maybe slightly chalky, but then also just uh, that kind of like really light doughy kind of uh, note to it. I'm actually not quite sure if there's wheat or oats in here, but there's just really like, pale doughy kind of malt character. Fruit follows. It's all those really light kind of um, yellowish fruits. So it's like, um, again, sort of like uh, cantaloupe, uh, light orangey notes, even like a leaning towards a little bit of like, maybe a little bit of white grape, but in general, there's like this herbal kind of grassiness on the back, uh, back end as well. A little bit of white grapefruit, yeah. That citrus note no, lingers too, but it's not overly fruity actually. And then it just has that like really doughy malt character, void bitterness, um, a little bit of like grassy hop character on the back end. Pretty like delicately light beer. A very percent double IPA doesn't really like zing too much on the nose. Um, for sure, I prefer the Edward. Wow. Maybe I have a hair cold. I could say that. Probably have a hair cold. But yeah, I just don't remember that kind of like. <laughs> Mila's talking in the background. Um, I just I, I just don't remember these beers having that really like pale pale mold character and like it it, it tends to like sh uh, dominate the beer a little bit with a little bit of that kind of like. It's that familiar pale creamy New England thing without being overly sweet. So it doesn't really have that much sweetness, too much sweetness behind it either. Huh. It like dances somewhere around what Hill Farm Scent generally tastes a little bit like, but with a little bit more of that creaminess, that like um, light malt character that a lot of New England IPAs have. And then it's just like, you know, hmm. I also thought the beer generally had a little bit more bitterness though. It's good, it's good. Not rocking my socks off right now, huh? You know, then again, thank you, thank you to Jeff for sending a few more cans. You know, maybe I'll just like think through uh, these beers a little bit more, a little bit more time. But this is still delicious. Ninety two double Rewaka from Hill Farms said absolutely fanta had fantastic. I'll post in the comments below if you've had a recent Hill Farms said beer, what your thoughts are. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.